Tops Tribute 2024. Picked up one box because these boxes were a little bit on the expensive side. Um, you know, I don't certainly wouldn't buy a lot of them, uh, but it's a lottery ticket, right? Um, autograph, relics, there's a couple of packs. Each pack has something in it, if I remember correctly. Six packs, I think. I watched a lot of people open them. Seems like everyone who opens them online gets great hits. I don't know why. Just seems that way. I mean, those are the ones that like get down to my feed, I guess, so however it works. And then I open these things up and I get like, you know, Steve Sachs or you know, good old Cedric Mullins seems to be in every Topps product. But I figure I'd give one a shot. Six packs? Six packs? Six packs? Okay. Clayton Kershaw on the front, which is nice, but just surprising. I guess, you know, tribute. Tribute to Clayton. He's still he's still cooking, right? He's still gonna play for the Dodgers. Got another season left in him apparently. So let's see what we can get here. Maybe we get something good. Three premium trading cards. Now the Yankees are playing. This is uh what's today? The day before Easter. So the Yankees have two wins. Got Kirby Puckett. Three cards? Yeah, three cards. And look at that. Alright. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't have many Aaron Judge relics, or, or I don't have any rookies or signatures I know of. So it's a nice one because of the pinstripe. So I appreciate that. And the Way jersey we got behind him. And the Ichiro. All right. Well, I got to admit, nothing. Oh, <laughs> those blink back. Congratulations. Dual relic card. Tops pledges to bring you closer. Contain this card are not from any specific game, event, or season. Huh. Well, that's not quite as cool then, is it? <laughs> what does that mean? Does it say that he wore it even? You have received a tribute dual relic card. The relics contained in this card are not from any specific game, event, or season. Well, that's really kind of vague, I gotta admit. But anyway, still, nice enough card. Would have liked to have been game used or... At least say something about, you know, Aaron Judge might have touched it at one point. You know, those new uniforms. See those new uniforms they're wearing? They're like sweating through them and stuff. It's crazy. There's Acuna Jr. Had quite the season. And I got a rookie. Nolan. Decent enough signature, at least. On card, which is nice, out of 150. And good old Mike Trout. Always like a Mike Trout card, although his card's... I guess it's going down in value pretty quickly now, right? Otani's card's probably going down in value pretty quickly. Trout. So it's a funny world we're in. The swings. The swings, the swings. So two cards of, to 150. A rookie I don't know too well, an Aaron Judge. This is a Cal Ripken. Nice card. And Joey Votto. Now you see, at least this is... That means like game-worn or something. Game-used merchandise. A little bit... Buster Posey. It's a little bit better than the Judge. I like the Judge card more, of course, but I'm just saying, as far as value. So, for the amount that I paid, have I gotten about $250 worth of value just yet? No, nope, not even close. It's just a lottery ticket. You can't really worry about that kind of stuff, right? You just got to kind of enjoy it and, and realize that we're lucky enough to open and watch a nice high end product. Gunnar Henderson. It seems weird. To not see Rookie with this. I've seen so many of his Rookie cards at this point, right? And then the hit is next. Matt Williams. <laughs> Alright, well, to 150. I'm sure it's not going to be exactly Luis Roberts worth that much. Alright, but a neat card. I remember him from 87 tops, I think it was. Matt Williams, third baseman. Alright. Two more packs. So we've gotten two... Uh, relics and two autographs. Is it three and three? Three autographs and three relics, I'm assuming. Spencer Strider. Quite the man, the pitcher. What do we got here? Corbin Carroll. Always seem to get Corbin Carroll. He's got a lot of his rookie cards. This one's a triple relic. Looks like a Mickey Mouse thing. I just did a Disney video I put out today. So this one at least says game used too. Isn't it funny? The one that I really wanted is not game used. We got here Mel Ott. I feel like I, I had a Mel Ott card at one time, like a bat relic or something like that. Congratulations, 
triple relic. All right, well, nice relic. A little hidden Mickey there. Um, game used, yeah, you know, not the worst thing in the world. Again, value-wise, not there, but card-wise, Derek Jeter. Never really collected Jeter cards too hard. I wasn't really collecting while he was playing. I was watching the games, but I wasn't really collecting. And then for the last hit, all right, Hall of Famer Barry Larkin. He also signs a lot of stuff. So as far as a big value, this is out of 99, so a little bit less of a made. And there's another Barry Larkin to 75. Well, that's funny. A lot, of, a lot of Barry Larkins. Nice signature. That's that's a signature, you know, a little effort in. I, I'd say that's an A signature. I appreciate that. All right, so then there you have it. I'll put him right down there. So Judge would have been my favorite card, except for that's just based literally a piece of cloth, <laughs> from what I could tell. Um, got Barry Lock in here. I'll put the little hidden Mickey guy here. Got a rookie autograph, a Matt Williams, a Hall of Fame autograph, and Barry Lock in. Votto game used, and uh, Corbin Carroll game used. Let me know what you think. You know, again, like everyone always says, value-wise, ah, uh, well, you know. I guess you got to order a case. If you order a case, maybe then if you get a big case hit or something like that, it might be worthwhile. But uh, I don't think I got the case hit here. <laughs> I'll try again next time. Thanks for watching. Let me know what I did wrong. Let me know what you see. Talk to you later.